this is going to be an update on a few spikes and uh, blooms on my orchids and African violets. So I'll start off with the first being the Phalaenopsis Lucky Stars. You kneel down. There we go. Could even see the glitter on it. It's so pretty. Has a bud that's gonna open there. It had a bud on there, um, but I accidentally knocked it off. And then it has lots of buds and a secondary spike on this second this second spike here. So that one's going to be really nice. When I first got this orchid, it had a few flowers and buds, and all the buds blasted and the flowers died, so I'm happy it's gotten used to its environment here in my apartment. <laughs> and so there's that one. And then this is the Sturia, Sturitiana Hybrid. No ID that I got at King Supers. I have two of these and this one I got a year ago. It, it almost died. All the roots died and so um, I had to repot it and I did it so in uh, Laka and Lava Rocks with a top dressing of moss and it and I put it in really bright light and it's been doing great it even shot up a new spike that you see right there and then all the roots have just been growing it's been doing really good show you the leaves on it those are the older ones this is the newest leaf that's been grown in bright sun. So, it's doing okay. And I have my African Violet. This is Ma's Lily Pad. See it there? This is an interesting bloom. It has dark pink stripes and white stripes it's really pretty and of course the vari variegation is wonderful you can see it all over oh piece of sphagnum moss got in there but I have it in the Oyama pots and it does great oh there's still water in there it's got about three bloom spikes on it little plant. Look at those. That variegation is so pretty. I went to the store where I usually buy these and they usually have the beautiful Harmony African Violets with the name tags and I went recently and they had all no IDs all miniature and I mean they were that nice oh, I don't know where they got that shipment from but it wasn't where they usually get them and I wasn't too happy about buying any of them so I hope they get another Harmony shipment in soon and then this is another Zygopetalum that I got for five dollars and it had one bloom on it because uh, it had broken I don't know if I can show you where it broke. Oh, right there. See? The spike broke, and so she put it on the out of bloom special. And it's not open up. It's not opened up all the way, so it's kind of closed. But it looks a lot like my other ones, except this one has started to smell, and it's very spicy, not sweet. 
at all. So I'm hoping that that changes. So there we go. This one is this one does have a name though. I have it potted up in Lake of Beads. This is a uh, Zygopetalum Bluebird. So I don't know. This one hopefully will be very fragrant and smell nicer because my other one, the No ID, is not very strong, but it smells like hyacinths. So that's my update for these. I want to do an update on the Corianthus and I will upload that video shortly.